Hello friends and greetings for the day. Finally, we are getting started with our brand new playlist on ISTQB Test Analyst 4.0, which is the latest revision which happened this year. However, the examinations are yet to be scheduled on 4.0. If in case you're writing in the next few months, you must check that if you have availability for 4.0. If not, then you must refer my other syllabus, which I have put it on the uh, I button. Please check that out. Or at the end of this video as well, I'll have the tag for the playlist or in the description. Okay, there are multiple places to let you know that this is the syllabus for 3.1 and 4.0. So before you start watching this playlist or go through the content of this, please be sure, are you going to write the examination on 4.0? Because at this point, the mini boards are yet to design the examination for the latest syllabus. I'm just getting started because it will take my, you know months, like two to three months to complete all the tutorials. By the time I end, it will be available. So many people were asking me, when are we going to have the new playlist? So I'm just getting started, but just be careful that are you referring to the right syllabus, which you will be writing on, because if in case you referred the wrong syllabus, then certainly your examination would be altogether a mess. So once again, welcome back. And of course, this playlist is gonna cover the new topics, of course, uh, all the content as per 4.0, and also the feedback from the 3.1. It's not that my tutorials were the best. I certainly had some basic feedbacks coming from the people and that is where I would like to include them in this brand new playlist, right? So in this tutorial, we're gonna cover introduction to this examination, helping you understand more about what this examination is all and certainly the syllabus, the content, the duration, the examination pattern and all that what you need to know before you get, can get into the content. To start with, of course, the interesting part is we are going to talk quickly about what is ISTQB and what certifications and validity has, because many people have this basic question right in the beginning. So we know ISTQB given that we have been through the foundation level. If you are someone who are new to this, this is not the certification for you because it starts with ISTQB foundation. You'll find the link in the description if you want to go back. Please start with ISTQB foundation. It's a prerequisite for this examination, okay? So if you're someone who just accidentally land up on, landed up on this video, then you have to start with ISTQB Foundation. So ISTQB stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board, and it's a Belgium-based nonprofit organization which helps individuals to get certified on QA practices. And yes, this certification brings a lot of value to you because when working in the organization, you might be capable enough to do the job what you are responsible for, but there are many formal things which we never understand or we don't have a definition for. And this is where the certification adds value. So test analyst is more for the people, okay, which are more experienced, like four to five years plus, and they are looking forward to take the leadership role in the organization. Not a test manager, but someone who's gonna lead a team or a senior engineer position in the organization. So test analyst is more relevant for these people and they can look forward to it. However, just for a quick introduction, we have plenty of certifications and you can see that there are many of them which someone can target. So the first prerequisite, as you can see, is ISTQB foundation. And post that, you do have the pathway to agile certification or you can even take specialists. So specialists are related to profile and domain. So say, for example, if you are a profile tester, like you are a performance tester, security tester, automation tester, usability tester, we do have examinations for them. Okay, Or if you are a specific to an industry like AI, automotive, gambling, game testing, then we do have certifications for them. In fact, there are two more added. Okay, We do have Scaled Agile and we do have Gen AI, which is recently added. And I'm yet to prepare the tutorials for this. So just wanted to let you know and the slide has to be updated. <laughs> there was no place, so I did not realize where exactly to put it, but thought I'll just add it here. Okay, so Gen AI is another new certification which is added to the specialist, and second is the Agile Scale, okay, which is another certification in the Agile methodology. Coming back to the point, of course, uh, quite often people ask me, are there different validation rules or validity of certificates in ISTQB? The answer is no your certificate remains lifetime valid. Okay, so it's not that if the syllabus changes tomorrow, you need to rewrite the examination. No, it would remain the same. 
So once certified, you're certified for forever, even if the syllabus changes or you probably have 10 years, 15 years done. Okay, so the certification remains pretty much valid. Quickly talking about the exam practices or exam pattern. Of course, the exam is going to have a prerequisite and the prerequisite is CTFL, which is Certified Tester Foundation Level. So someone should be ISTQB Foundation Level Certified and approximately have at least 18 months of experience in order to approach or appear ISTQB Test Analyst. Given that Test Analyst is an advanced level examination, we have these as mandatory prerequisites. It does not matter if you have seven years of experience, can you write advanced level directly? No, you need to start with foundation itself. Talking about the exam type would remain objective. Objective means, of course, multiple choice questions. You would be given with four or five options for any question. Wherever you see four options, you are asked to select one right answer. If you see five options, you are asked to select two right answers. Okay, so you will have blend of both, which I'm sure you have been through in the foundation. But in foundation, we had only two questions out of 40. But here, many of them would be with five options. So be extra cautious where you have to select one answer and where you have to select two answers. Of course, the number of questions would be increased to 45 here compared to foundation. And the time will also be given to you for 120 minutes. That means two hours of time to write 45 questions. The reason is they will be scenario based. They will be having a lot of passages and that may take a little time to understand. So as the time gets consumed, the time is doubled by just adding five extra questions. So the question complications would increase. Of course, uh, the schedule today, this examination can be scheduled on any day. So you don't have to worry about whenever you're ready with the preparation, schedule the examination. Coming to the passing criteria, these 45 questions would carry 78 marks. Okay, And out of that, you need to get at least 51 or more, which means as usual, 65% of the total. So 51 or more, anything would be considered as pass and you're done with this examination. Of course, there is a new playlist or this is the new playlist 4.0. So the new syllabus is already released. And if you want to want to quickly understand what is the key difference between the older and new version, I do have a video created, which is added to this playlist, as well as we have a link in the description below. So make sure that you watch it if you want to understand the key differences. However, this playlist will cover everything as per 4.0. Talking about the chapters here, of course, we are going to have five chapters which will cover everything what someone should know at this experience. The first chapter will talk about the test process, but not just the activities which you know from foundation. Here we'll be talking about what is the role of a test analyst or basically understanding who is a test analyst in terms of test process. So we'll understand about the work product, we'll understand how testing gets carried out throughout the life cycle, and what is your role and how it is different from test manager, okay? Because test manager is different from test analyst. The second chapter will be talking about the risk-based testing, and here on a high level, you will understand what a test analyst role would be in the risk-based testing. So given that foundation has covered all the basics, here you would be covering more from the test analyst participation. Chapter three is gonna be most critical and interesting chapter. Of course, here you're gonna cover the test analysis and test design techniques. The techniques you pretty much know, which you have covered in the foundation. Some of them would be repeated here. For example, decision table, state transition will be once again here. But you would not have the white box, but you would have experience based, plus many more new techniques. However, I don't want to make this video longer, but you would have domain testing, you would have crowd testing, you will have crowd testing, and many more new techniques like metamorphic testing being covered here, okay? So you will have a blend of a lot of things to understand. Altogether, 12 techniques just from black box and experience space put together. Also to add chapter five, chapter four will cover the quality characteristics. So here you'll understand what is functional suitability testing, the usability, accessibility, portability, and few others which are related to a functional testing but does belong to non-functional testing. So there are non-functional levels which are taken care of by the functional testing and this chapter is going to talk about those non-functional characteristics. And finally the chapter 5, of course the chapter 5 is going to take care of understanding how reviews and other prevention activities can be conducted in the life cycle which would be a to the point very specific theoretical but does not really add any kind of hands-on 
however would give you everything related to that so put together the syllabus is going to be again a theoretical one however we'll try to make sure that as much as real examples we can use to help you understand would be a great thing okay but however this video would be enough for you to prepare well if not we do have sessions happening so you can reach out to our contact details and we can be will be happy to host you right because in session it would be more detailed than these videos okay however as you know maintaining the track record will give you the best as much as possible rather than making these longer than usual all right finally talking about the k level because many people get confused what kind of level of questions we will be expecting here so in this again as usual from the foundation you know that we have four levels k1 k2 k3 k4 uh, we will only have k2 k3 and k4 that means understand apply and analyze k1 is remember which is basic terminologies and those have been covered in istqbp foundation already so that's all what you need to know from here okay because k1 has been covered in foundation so they will not be asking you any basic things or not giving you any basic topics as a part of the syllabus you are at advanced level and you need to know advanced things right so that's all from this particular introductory video about this examination from the next video we'll be stepping into the chapters and talking about every single topic in detail so stay tuned for that and uh, certainly you'll find a lot of information in the description regarding this video or the links which i promised you so make sure you visit them if you need any further help so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning